Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a blue red tokens deck using Brutoclad. All right guys, and we're gonna do it on a budget. Okay, first things first, this is not the best token commander necessarily. I really, really do love the Locust God for this one, but I wanted to go a different route because a lot of people build the Locust God and there's some cool stuff we can do with Brutoclad with his uh, second ability there. So he's a six drop, one red, one blue, four color, uh, four, four, Creature tokens you control have haste. At the beginning of your uh, combat in your turn, create a 2-1 blue mer ar uh, artifact creature token. Then you may choose a token you control. If you do, each other token you control becomes a copy of that token. Wow. We're going to abuse that a little bit here today. There are. Um, this is not the deck you're going to find on EDH Rec, by the way. You're going to find a much different deck than what I'm building today. And this is because this is something that uh, my buddy uh, Parker uh, he loves Tolerant, the Sky Summoner, and he loves Young Pyromancer. We're going to talk about those. Those are the heart of our deck. Okay, so um, these are our secret commanders. Um, let's look at Tolerant Sky Summoner. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may create a 2-2 flying drake. And then we've got Young Pyromancer, creates 1-1 one, one elementals. Then we have, uh, let's see, Murmuring Mystic is 1-1 one, one Blue Bird Illusion Creatures with Flying. And then we have Docent of Perfection. Uh, that's gonna create 1-1 one, one Wizards. And then whenever uh, he flips, after you've got three Wizards in play, all of your Wizards get plus two, one, and fly. So we're gonna, um, also we're gonna um, cast Sahili. Uh, where's our Planeswalker? Sahili. Um, and she's also going to create a bunch of 1-1 one, one, uh, creature tokens for us. We're just going to put a bunch of them out there because we're going to cast a bunch of instants and sorceries. Okay. Um, so that's our goal. Find one of our five hidden commanders. Okay. Yeah. Five hidden commanders. And then cast a bunch of instants and sorceries. Um, and all of these sorceries are going to be either utility-based or they're going to cantrip or they're going to uh, create tokens for us. Okay, utility. All right, so things that we're looking at for this deck, and I won't go through all of them because a lot of them kind of double up. Um, we're going to do like things like preordain, which I thought I had in the deck. Anyway, think twice. It's not uh, perfect. Thought scour, again. Um, thrill of possibility, drawing cards. Um, repeal is gonna bounce a permanent draw card. Uh, these are the kinds of things I'm talking about whenever we can tripping. Next, the, we're, we're going to be casting some of our utility cards, like Is It Charm, counters target non-creature spell, uh, unless they pay two. Um, it deals two damage to our creature, or you can draw cards and discard cards. If you got like a bunch of lands in hand, you need to get rid of them. Uh, you can echoing truth stuff, uh, bounce that land and or bounce that permanent and all permanents with the same name. Very useful against um, creature token decks. Uh, Brainstorm. It draws us three cards and put them back and put two back on the top in any order. Um, then we're gonna counter spell uh, or we're gonna negate. One of the ones that I really like in this build is Into the Royal. Um, Into the Royal, I've always been happy to have it in my hand and um, pay the kicker cost because I'm gonna replace Into the Royal and deal with the threat immediately, get some value off of my commanders. Another one that's just like it is Blink of an Eye. It's the exact same card, basically. Um, okay, really, really love those. Um, now we're gonna look at some more permanent call, uh, card draw um, in, sorry, Idol of Oblivion here. Idol of Oblivion, um, tap, activate only if you create a creature token this turn, create a token this turn, tap, draw a card, which is gonna be pretty consistent with our commanders. Um, then we have the big one at the bottom there. If we really get to that much mana, which we're going to draw a lot, so we should get all of our land drops, we'll be able to create a 10 10 colors Eldrazi token. And then Brutal Clad just makes all of our little 1 1s into 10 10 Eldrazi's. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Um, let's see. Lunar Mystic is another way that we're going to um, draw a bunch of cards. We're going to pay one life or pay one mana every time we uh, cast an instant of sorcery to help draw us cards. Um, Wave Break Hippocamp. Um, whenever we cast spells on our opponent's turn, we're going to replace that card basically to draw another card. So a cantrip like brainstorm is you're going to, you're going to draw a card off of hippocamp, then you're going to brainstorm, and then you're going to put two cards back on top. So it's, it's super, super, um, impactful. 
Um, again, we got Skull Clamp in the deck. Um, I think every deck that I build recently has got Skull Clamp in the deck. Just fill your tokens and create a bunch of one, or draw a bunch of cards. All right, some of our combos. Want to talk about this really quick. We have got in our main, we have, not that you wouldn't have a sideboard, but anyway, uh, we have Curiosity. Um, Curiosity really combos well with one of my favorite cards. He says, Enchanted creature deals damage to an opponent. You may draw a card. Which is really, really great whenever you pair it up with Gutter Snipe. Because every time you cast an instant or sorcery, you're going to draw a card for each opponent that you dealt damage to. If you have three opponents, you're going to draw three cards before you even your instant or sorcery even resolves. Um, so that's one of my favorite little baby com combos in the deck. I love this combo. I use it all the time. Um, another combo is because we're casting so many instants and sorceries um is experimental overload experimental overload is a four drop um red blue two colorless create an xx blue and red weird creature token where x is the number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard and you may return an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand exile experimental overload if you have your commander out uh brutal cloud out and you cast this Say you've got 10 instants and sorceries in your graveyard because you've just been casting a bunch of them. You're going to exile experimental overload, return one of those instants and sorceries, and then get a token that's equal, power and toughness equal number of instants and sorceries still in your graveyard. So it's going to be a 9-9. Nine nine. Then whenever you go to combat, Brutaclad is going to make all of your tokens into XX creatures that are 9-9s. Nine I love it. <laughs> it's so good. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, another one that does a lot is very similar to that is Mercurial Transformation. We can turn the, an opponent's creature into a 1-1 with no abilities, or we can turn um, our creature, one of our creatures, into a 4-4 um, octopus token. So it's not quite as powerful as Experimental Overload, but it's still pretty good considering that we turn a bunch of 1-1s into 4-4s. Um, so our win conditions, we've got a couple of them in here. We've got, we can go wide with tokens. Um, we can put some big creatures out with our, um, sorry, our Enigma Drake. Power is equal to number of instances of sorcery cards in your graveyard. Our uh, Spellheart Chimera, which is going to put a, uh, which is going to be a big dude. Um, our Crackling Drake, also going to get big for uh, instances and sorceries in the library, or in the graveyard, or in Exile. It's a very, very important de distinction. He also draws a card. Uh, another card that kind of uh, suits up a creature in a big way in this deck is Rune Shanner's Pike. Basically turns any of your tokens into a big threat with First Strike. Um, another way that we're going to threaten our opponents, especially whenever we're going the wide strategy, um, we have got a guy in here called Tetsuko Umazawa's Fugitive. He's a two drop, one blue, one colorless. Creatures you control with power or toughness or less, or one or less can't be blocked. So if you have all of your tokens turn into Brood of Clouds 2 1 Mer, right? Well, now none of your tokens can be blocked whenever you go into combat. And oh, by the way, if you really want to add insult to injury, you do where is that card just had it um dyna charge you overload dyna charge and now your two ones that are attacking are all four ones somebody's gonna die clown <laughs> um another way that we're gonna probably win is like global damage um whenever we're doing uh gutter snipe or even uh one of our enchantments is impact tremors um Really, really great ways of just closing the game out when our opponents have just a couple of points of life left. Uh, Reconnaissance Mission is going to draw us a bunch of cards. Um, and let's see, anything else to talk about? This deck, run. Oh, we do need to mention one uh, card in this deck, Reliquary Tower. We're going to be drawing so many cards. Reliquary Tower is an auto-include. It's not an auto-include in every deck. Do not think that you need to play this card in every deck. It's just the ones that are focused and engineered for drawing a bunch. And I mean a bunch. Because how often do you normally have seven cards in hand? Very infrequent. In this deck, it'll be very frequent. 
Um, anyway, guys, that's my take on a tokens deck with Brutoclad. And um, I think it's a lot of fun, like a really great fun deck. And um, it's pretty, pretty low end on uh, TCG mid. It's about $62 to $80 to build this deck out, right? You can obviously upgrade it with um, throwing a copy of, uh, what do you call it? Of the Locust God in here or anything like that. And it, it makes the deck just that much better. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.